All right, we're back with some Monster Train. I took a little bit of a break. Uh, I think I still need a little bit of a break, so my... Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, oh. Hmm, hmm, interesting. Woken Stinging Guard, musical chairs is spooky and small hands. I don't like that. I don't like it as a daily, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, I kind of like those, though. Stings are kind of, kind, kind of a... We'll see how this works. Uh, anywho... Okay, I gotta go for the stings get magic magic power like gnarled root for the extra spikes would be good But the sting bonus is gonna be sweet Anywho, um I guess I'm gonna go for the rejuvenate These are going to be interesting and rough and we'll figure it out uh, let's see so I'm gonna turn that on one thing. I hadn't really been thinking about when playing this game is that especially when doing the daily you really actually want to go for the custom custom objectives like whenever you get the chance let's just put that down okay because yeah otherwise you don't get as much score and silly so how do i do how do i want to do this i want to kill this guy this guy has a lot of hp i want to do the ice tornado but i think i'm just gonna wait go we'll kill the those guys Drop the Frozen Lance. Get back down here. Give me the Rejuvenation. Kill that guy at the very least. Okay, we got we got some options. Preserve Thorns. Hello. Still gonna kill me, but he's gonna be very weak. Bye. Ah, that's pretty good. So what do we get? Glimmer is pretty good. I think I'm going to have to go for the Steel Enhancer, though. And... I feel like Titan's Tooth would not be the worst thing in the world. I don't have any base offerings. And my hand draw is going to be bad. So, no. We're not going to go for an offering build. Even if it might actually be a good idea. So if I go Shattered Shell... We could potentially buff it up. It doesn't scale the best, though. I mean, it scales okay, but it's not... It's not like the end-all, be-all of unit scaling, right? I feel like I might be able to... I might be able to do more with somebody else. I'd be better off with Cold Salia. Oh, Quick Sweep, though. Is nice for a while, though. Yeah, you're right. I, I totally forgot we have Quick. Okay, do I go for the Merchant of Magic? Or do I go, do I go for the Merchant of Steel? I'm going to have more energy than I'm going to have cards for a while, so that's less of a limitation. So let's, let's make this one count to the very least. We already have Quick. Reroll. Do I want to just go for that? It's a little weak. I was... No, I'm going to go for that. Because we, we can scale her up a little bit. And Woken Banner gets me... Another Shattered Shell. I'm not... I'm not going to go for two. Two would be silly. Get, become double quick. That would be kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Non-boss enemy units start with Spike. I'm just probably just going to have both of these guys hanging out on this floor. Put him there. Kill him. No damage. 
Gotta worry about the guy on the top. Never mind. No worries about the guy on the top. Mm, less than pretty. I'll just put these guys here. We'll probably be fine. Yeah, unfortunately, main dude does not have the scaling I'm looking for. If we get lucky, I get a nice tornado. If we get luckier, I get my stings. There we go. That's good. So we're definitely going to want to go for a thin deck, deck strat and try and get some extra draw up in here. Definitely going for the spare sting and skipping a lot of these. I, we're pretty good there, but nah, it's, it's fine. I go for dupins. Go. What I do? What would I do? If I were to do, preserved thorns would be up on the list. I could get a second shattered shell, but I think that would be a mistake. We don't need the health, and we actually don't need a unit modification. So yeah, sure, screw it. Let's go for let's go for preserved thorns. And get the offering monument. I... One more Preserved Thorns is probably fine. More than that is probably bad. Like, I, I think we would run into some, some bad, bad things if we did. Hey! Constructed, constructed Explosives Explode Twice. Works fine for me. Alright, so here's the question. How do we want to do this? Do I want to put the sentient on the lowest floor? Do I have to? Do I even need to? Do I want to? Okay. I'm going to sting the snap out of the boss. And I'm probably going to put the shattered shell on the bottom? Maybe? Admittedly, already nuked my thing, but that's okay. Alright. At least I get a ton of cards. Oh, my hand is full. Damn it. Um... That guy. Not gonna help me too much. Get rid of the, one of the train stewards. gonna hit him a couple of times. Probably should get rid of the train steward. Let's get them up there. Okay, frozen lance. Hit him with the sting. And then just nuke him a couple of times. Well, that was relatively easy. I was hoping I could kill him sooner, but still. Not, not bad. Uh, yeah, cycle of life. I could do Guard of the Unnamed. He's not amazing, but he might be able to sink hits for me occasionally. Would it be worth it, though? Because half the problem is he's just not going to be there. I'm going to skip this. And we got to go for the draw. Maybe one draw and then go for some ener energy? Maybe? I'm not using a whole lot of en energy. Uh, let's see. Not yet, anyway. So we got to get rid of... We got to get rid of a couple of things. I got to get rid of the Frozen Lances. They are... They are actually just bad. Can grab the Awoken Hollow. I can put him on top, and I can potentially mod him. And we want to do Forgotten Name. Uh -huh. 
Spikes tend to reju rejuvenate. The reason you're not using so much energy is you don't have that many draws. Oh, very true. All right, so we don't have Pierce. Let's see. So these guys are going to probably wreck me. Do we put her up top? Yeah, I'll put her up top. Which is a good final line. Put her there. Put him there. Okay, she doesn't die. She gets damn close, though. Preserve thorns. Preserve thorns. Oh, I probably should have actually let her get the kill. Whatever. Go for the steel enhancer. Pop another preserved thorn. Because I don't actually want to kill these guys. Alright. You're not going to get me quite what I'm looking for here, but that's fine. Kill that guy. Drop him there. Drop him there. Okay, kind of a rough final wave. We put the offering monument in front. It is super tempting to do so. Otherwise, I could do cycle of life. Go for that. Okay, Restoration Detonation for a whole bunch of damage. Get him with the stings and we win. It's kind of a bizarro split focus deck here. That's not terrible. We don't need another quick. Awake would be good. But I don't need it. Restoring Retreat would be... Interesting. A retreat to minion stacking floor. I uh, the main problem is minion stacking a floor is almost kind of meaningless with musical chairs. It's helpful, but it's not. It's not great. Normally, you want to do minion stacking with a really big tank and then a bunch of decent DPS behind them, but there's no way to guarantee that. So. I don't really know. It'd mostly be really useful for fighting bosses, and even then, I'm using a kind of... Eh, I think I'm going to skip. My deck is already full enough. Cuddle hacks, though. Okay, so I got a lot of money. But I think we want to go for the Merchant of Magic and the Unstable Vortex. I want to get rid of the last frozen lance and one of the stewards. Okay, Merchant of Magic would let me remove consume on a. Ooh, that's tempting. On the flip side, I'm going to end up with a lot of stings to begin with. That'd be nine. That's like half my deck. Right, let's purge another steward. Let's purge two stewards. Reroll this. See what we get. Gain holdover. Ooh, okay. Holdover would be interesting. Like, maybe I could put it on the steel enhancer. 
Or we could put it on Cycle of Life and just, like, beef chunk something. Feels like that's a different build for what I'm doing, though. And I'd run into so many energy issues if I did. So I think instead I'm gonna make I'm gonna make cycle of life cheap. We're gonna skip the holdover. And go from there. What's the multiplayer like in this game? Uh you can actually see it right now. Effectively you're just racing against other people. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take it. Let's see, Raft didn't win the vote. Raft wrecked my computer. I'll try Raft again tomorrow once I've done some testing to make sure it doesn't blue screen me a second time. Oh, this sucks. Maybe not. Okay, I don't want to kill this guy. Oh, I guess I killed him anyway. Alright, put that there. Put him there. Give me the Cuddle Hex. Sting that guy. Give me some Rage. Preserve Thorns. Because, yeah, if I have a bunch of these stings, maybe I should have actually gone for Preserved Thorns. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's see. If I do Restoration Detonation, it will kill them. Actually, something we want to avoid. Oh, that's why. Alright, whatever. Hit him with the restore. Pop all the stings up here. Normally I'd use them for the damage, but we don't want that. Right, one, two. That's good. Cycle of life. One, two. He dies. Third one. And we have a restoration detonation currently cycled. I'll just put a steward there. Let's see. Any means of doing a bunch of damage to the guy in the back? Not overwhelmingly, no, which is a bit of a letdown. So in that case, avoid the damage. Go for the spikes. Do not want to do restoration detonation on that character in the slightest. We want to keep buffing him up, not that it's going to help me too much, and we want to do a sting. Alright, go for the Steel Enhancer. Go for this Restoration Detonation, do a bunch of damage. Start just dropping stings. This boss is probably not going to burn through its stealth before it gets to me. But my goal is to mildly get it to do so. As I can just... Bammo! And it's dead. Probably could be a bit better. Uh, let's see, do we want any of these? Like in... In snares, kind of handy? It's snares kind of handy. Hey, thank you, Bash Boy, for the 25-month resub. Ooh, huh. Got to do some thinking. I know now. Thanks for the 25 months of extreme fun and cheese. Yeah, thank you for all the support. Ah, oh, do we go for the Guardian Stone? Guardian Stone isn't a terrible idea. I'm going to grab that down. I I'm going to grab that. We'll make it work, maybe. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
So do I want to go for money duping that or... Nah, let's go for the Herzl's Horde. Units cost less. Grab the health. Give something multi-strike. Okay, I'm going to make the Guardian Stone slightly less crappy. Uh, and then I think that's just going to be the end of it. Okay, main reason why I wanted to do that is that way I can put the Guardian Stone with my... Uh, with my slave, slave Beast. Ooh, Scourge. Well, you know what? I think we'll be okay. If we're lucky. We're currently not lucky. Get rid of that. Probably should have still flipped that around. There we go. So we're going to have two weights of contrition, which in retrospect, I regret. A lot. I might just have to go for the kill on some of these guys. Well, we have the Guardian Stone. Go for the Rage. I'm going to give him the Offering Monument. That way I can force draw when I want. Yeah, if it's one weight of contrition, I can kind of swing it. Okay, that should do a bit of damage to him. <sighs> Farewell, my sweet energy. But that's okay. That's why we have preserved thorns. I'm just going to want to beeline for the boss here a little. Otherwise, we could explode that guy. Mm. Didn't help so much. I'm going to go for that. Get rid of the other weight of contrition. Okay, that was vaguely worth it. Gives me so little to work with, though. Uh. Well, at least we can cycle through almost all of our stings. Like, actually, all of our stings. Uh, it's... Nuke her. And then I'm gonna hold on to the other one. Because we're probably gonna need it. Maybe, maybe kinda, sorta. Boss is gonna take some damage here, but not enough. That's what, what do we have? Not much else. Let's give him a restore. Yeah, so effectively War of Attrition, except for most of it involves just kind of slowly chipping the bosses down to bits. Oh, let's see. So do we want to go... Ooh, ah. These are tough. I like the idea of the Awoken's Rail Spike, but I think I'm going to go for Harness the Titan instead. 
and I'm going to go for the energy. Yeah, Harness to the Titan could be real stupid. I'm going to see if I can give it holdover. My chances of getting it to be holdover are lower, but still. Oh, I can smell that burger cooking. I was making burgers for dinner. Uh, it's off for wealth. Off for wealth. Spells gained an extra upgrade slot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, speaking of holdover, bam. It'll be worth it. Now let's go for the extra power on probably both of those. Reroll this, see if we can get anything amazing. Reduce the cost of... We can just make Cycle of Life free. Now I have zero excuses. We make Preserved Thorns. Hmm, tempting. Oh, yeah. We actually, we do want that. Because we've got the uh, Spell Eater boss after this, and that would get bad. I guess the one thing that would have actually really helped on this one... Ooh, yeah, sure, I can do it, deal with that. The one thing that would have really helped with this run would have actually been just heavy regen. I could have kind of focused for it, but... Okay, so we're going to have some Ember Drain issues, which I'm not happy about. I... Do I want to switch that in retrospect? Maybe not. I'm only going to be able to do so much damage to him, though. I'm going to just give him this. Oh, the Ember Drain is going to be painful here. Do I want to switch this around? Do I want to... Let's back out. I'm going to try this one again. I bet I could have done that better. Like, a lot better. Now I'm going to be distracted, though. I got dinner. Dinner's a problem. Okay. Put Sentient down. Do we put the Shattered Shell down? Maybe. See, I think I still want to do this. Except for this time, I'm not going to be a moron and I'm going to nuke him down hard. There we go. That was worth it. That guy sucks and I hate him. Taking him down a little bit. Yeah, we got we to gotta get some victims, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. More or less what I was looking for. Go for the armor. Alright, see, so he dies. Grab preserved thorns. Let's come back up here. This guy's gonna survive, and I don't want that. Put the Cuddle Hex. Harness the Titan. Now that's a little bit better. Hit him again. Okay. So we are now firmly in Sting City. Get myself a little bit more of that. Steel Enhancer him. We should have actually done Preserved Thorns first, but it's fine. Uh, so the real question is, so I hate that guy in the back. 
I hit him pretty bad. Okay. Do I go for yet more stings? I'm in kind of a nice equilibrium of a buttload of stings. So I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'll just wait. That's actually pretty good. Harness the Titan. Gets me some armor. Cycle of life on him. Pop the restoration. Hit him once. And then we're just going to pop the remaining stings. Just for the extra draw in the ne next round. Alright, final wave against the boss. The boss is a bit of a nuisance. We also did not take nearly as much damage here as I probably... Should have. Well... Enhance. Do we... Yeah. Harness the Titan. For a whole bunch of damage. I'm not really going to be able to hurt the boss too much here, am I? I was kind of hoping I'd be able to actually do terrible things with boss. And the answer is... I'm still going to be able to do terrible things with boss. Just... It's just with Madcap's spell spam as, as opposed to anything actually feasibly useful. Uh, let's hold up. Harness the Titan. Cycle of Life. I have one restore. I probably should have done a restoration detonation in retrospects. Well... And then it's just, then it's just Sting City. All the way. And we got the cash. Uh, let's see, do I want any of these? I would say Edge Prior or Wildwood Custodian would both be kind of nice, but I think I'm just going to skip them. I'm probably just going to skip all of these. Like, Wildwood Custodian, like, both would be kind of okay, but I already have my draw covered. Uh, let's see. So we go for the Unstable Vortex and the Hellvent? Yeah. Okay, Hellvent. Let's get rid of the last bonus restore. And what are the Ice Tornadoes? I'm just not using them. And then let's see what we got in here. Well, that's a freaking yes. I'm just gonna grab those. I could probably mod some spells here, but I just I don't know if it would actually be that helpful. Uh, let's see. I go for another har harness the Titan, but that's probably a mistake. It'd be tempting to have a second cycle of life just rolling. Actually, second Guardian Stone. Oh, I haven't gotten into the Merchant of Magic, but it's pointless. It wouldn't help me anyway. Oh, these other rings smell good. We'll be okay. All right, so this is kind of problem town, and I hate it. Let's get him down. Let's get the offering monument down. Let's pop preserved thorns. There you are.
Hit the boss. I want to put my guy on the bottom. Just to clear the mooks. Alright. Come down here. Pop the Rage Serum. Easy peasy. Sting. Vengeful Shard. Steel Enhancer. Thorns. Harness. Sting him again. Sting him again. He will not survive. Last guy, might. A little concern. But only a little. Okay. Here's both of our Guardian Stones. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, let's see. This is the... That's the restore that we were looking for. Cool. Let's get rid of the Vengeful Shard. Get up here. Drop the Cuddle Hex. Drop Preserved Thorns. Pop Harness the Titan. And we'll have another... Oh. We don't need another round. There we go. Okay. So we have Steel Enhancer. What else do I have? You know what? Not much. Uh, go for Harness the Titan. Sting that guy. Restoration Detonation just to hit him a couple of times. Do we hit him some more? Yeah, might as well. Alright, so this looks like a mess. It is a mess. But I can work with messes. So I'm going to get rid of one of my stings. I could get rid of an ice tornado. I don't really, I don't really care for the ice tornado that much anyway. Uh, hold up. So we're going to do... Give him some more. Pop preserved thorns. Harness the titan further. These guys are fine. Let's see if I can get it so he dies. He does die. Alright, let's get back up here. I guess we're going to take some damage. I'm not happy about that. Get out of here, vengeful shards. Alright, what can I... Well, let's just consume one of the stings. Probably should have actually paid attention to the numbers there, but it's fine. Get rid of the vengeful shard. I think I'm going to wait a bit. Right. Right. And I'm going to wait on the preserved thorns. If we need it, I'll use it. But I'm not passionate about it. Alright, which of these stings does the least amount of damage? This one does 42. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna just do Restoration Detonation, hit him kinda bad. Uh, starting to run low. Do I go for more Preserved Thorns? Yeah. We'll do that. Pop the Vengeful Shard. Hit him with another Restoration Detonation. Come down here, harness the Titan. Kill this guy. Because he's just going to get in my way anyway. Alright, then get up here and keep stinging the boss until he until there's not much left. Alright, final wave. He's going to take a ton of damage. Let's get rid of the Vengeful Shards. Uh, let's see. Honestly, at this point, let's get rid of Preserved Thorns. We don't, we don't need it, Roland. If I do this right, I can probably kill the boss. Quick, quick maths this a bit better. Got him. All, all I needed was just a, a tank creature, slight scalability, and then we just pummel him into death. Poor guy. Died from bees. He is the true wicker man today. He is Nicolas Cage. That was a good run. I like that. 
I feel more positive about Monster Train now. I'd like to play more of this. I just got really burnt out for like a couple of days. Uh, streaming for Good Shepherd slash Shiny Shoe was real fun, but it was just too much Monster Chain for like the launch week. I just needed a day to get my couple of days to get my mojo back. All right, let's see how well I did on that one. Rank 619. Holy shit, I did not do well. How'd I do compared to my friends? Hey, everybody I know did terribly. 